let's warm you and me up on problem of the day. Problem of the day today says, whew, the sum of two numbers is 43 and their difference is negative nine. What are the two numbers? Again, we got two numbers that are gonna add up to 43, but at the same time, they're going to have a difference of negative nine. That means when we subtract them, we're gonna look for the two numbers. So let's check it out here. Let's see what we've got. Again, I am feeling that we are looking for two things. There's two numbers there. Now it says ask for two numbers here. So we need two clues. Well, do we have two clues? I believe we do. There's a clue right there. We know the sum of the numbers. They add up to 43. Ding, ding, ding. That's one important fact. Very important. The other side of the picture, we know their difference. That means if we subtract them, we will get a negative 9. Also, that last statement there tells me something about the numbers. We're going to be starting with a smaller number, subtracting a larger number, if we're going to get to a negative 9. Think about that. All right, so let's see where this is going to take us, where this fun thing is going to take us here. So starting off with the first clue, the sum. Sum means addition. Let's go ahead, first of all, and identify our two numbers. Hey, this is going to be real creative, real original. We're going to let x be the first number. You knew I'd tell you that. And we'll let y, guess what? It's going to be the second number. So let's do it. In the meantime, we'll think of two ways to relate those. One of them, we're going to add them together. All right, so one method is to add them together. We're going to get x plus y. And that would equal, according to this, 43, because that's the first clue we have, sum. All right, everybody got it? Everybody good? x plus y equals 43. Now, what about the difference? Difference means to subtract. So we're going to take x minus y, and we're going to get negative 9, according to the way this problem was laid out for us. All right, so we've got it all going here. Sum is 43, difference negative 9. What are the two numbers? Now it's time to get to the, get to the gist here. Let's add these together. You say, why are we going to add them together, Ernie? Because we've got a plus and a negative that are going to cancel each other out beautifully. So some of you say, well, I, when we do these kind of problems with x and y, a lot of times we have to multiply by something. Not in this case. This is ready to go. Signs are even matching for us. We're going to add these two equations together, which is going to give me x plus x. Don't say it's x. Some of you will. But it's 2x. And on the other side of the coin, say goodbye to those y's, by the way. That's good news. On the other side, we've got 43, and we're going to subtract 9 from that. believe it's going to give us 34. And we're ready to, you know what? I know what we're ready to do. Let's do it. We're ready to divide. So we're going to take 2 and divide it into 34, or 2 divided into both sides, however you want to look at it. Let's see where we go. It's going to give us x equaling whew, 17. So hang on to that. That's our first number, 17. I'm going to circle it for right now. We may, hopefully we don't have to put an x through. I hope we did it right. Now, let's take one of these equations, easy one. I think easy one will be x plus y equaling to 43. And since I'm saying x is 17, da, 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 let's do it. Put a 17 right in there, plus y equaling 43. And you know what we need to do? We need to do a little subtraction. Now, we're not trying to combine these two. This is, this is what we started with. We're just picking one equation and substituting. We're going to make a substitution, find the other variable, which in this case, finding what y is equal to. So let's subtract the 17. We'll subtract it very nicely there. And I am seeing y equaling to, it looks like, 26. So there's another answer. My question is, we know 17 and 26 are going to add up to 43. That's your first check. It's got to work there. The next question, will 17 minus 26 give us that negative 9. Let's check and see. 17 minus 26 equals negative 9, does it? Well, we add the opposite. We'll add a negative 26 to that. It looks like it's going to work well for me. Works well for you guys. We are good to go. That one checked. The 43 checked. So we can go back up here to our clues. That works. That works. Folks, the two numbers. Let's put that second one right up there since we've done so well. 26 right there. And again, remember what I said at the beginning? 
the second number was going to have to be larger than the first because when we subtract them, we are coming out with a negative 9. So it worked. Came out pretty good there, right?